हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम अजय करमरकर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग फर्दर आई वुड लाइक टू से समथिंग प्लीज वॉच वीडियो कंप्लीटली एंड सीट विथ कॉपी पेन इफ यू फाइंड सम वेयर इंपॉर्टेंट देन प्लीज नोट इट एंड प्रोसीड फर्दर ऑल दो यू हैव फेसिंग एनी प्रॉब्लम आर डिफिकल्टीज प्लीज राइट इन कमेंट बॉक्स आई डेफिनेटली सॉल्व यूर प्रॉब्लम एंड अलॉन्ग विथ प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब बिकॉज that can reach more and more students okay thank you let's see what the question says six charges are kept at the vertices of a regular hexagon according to the figure if magnitude of force applied by plus capital q on plus small q charges is capital f f denoted force electrostatic force then net force on the center is nf then find out the value of n here is the key point of this question is superposition of the electrostatic forces and then applying law of pylogram so here you have given regular hexagon it means all the sides from the center are equal this is equal in, this is in the opposite direction plus 3q and minus 2q and here q and it is minus 3q here plus q and here minus q and at the exactly center that is plus capital q charges we have given already the force applied between capital q and plus small q is f it means f equal to k into capital q small q and the distance let's consider that is distance from the center is r so here r square is f okay so now now let us first we have to find out the force f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 and f6 okay so here f1 is a k what is the central force is a center charge is q and this charge is small q and the distance is r square so f1 is equal to f okay it is the first here the second point plus q and here is also plus q then f2 equal to k q capital small q r square is it is again f then third f3 k what is plus 3q and capital q upon r square it means 3 k small q capital q r square it means 3f it is f3 now for f4 what is f4 k 4q negative and uh, central charge is capital q r square then you can see that f4 equal to minus 4f here minus sign only shows the attraction and repulsion you can see and the direction is always positive to negative okay so therefore the direction is in the downward direction f4 same things apply here f5 f5 then what is f5 a what is the charge minus 3q and central charge is capital q r square f5 minus 3k small q capital q r square it means f5 equal to minus 3 f same thing and last f6 f6 k what is the charge minus 2q central charge capital q upon r square it means f6 equal to minus 2f so we have find out all the charges you can see that f1 f2 f3 here is f3 f4 f5 and f6 we have neglected this minus sign because minus sign only shows the attraction and repulsion force because direction is the fixed always positive to negative okay so here we have to uh, now we have to adding according to the according to the direction 
so now let us first we have to see this action line from plus q to minus 4q you can see that this is acting to the center and this is positive plus q charge and here is minus q charge always force at uh, force towards to the positive to negative so therefore it is the same direction it means it's a overall net force is acting downward direction then what is the first this is force this is f and here is the force f4 f4 is 4f means f1 and f4 that is f plus 4f it means 5f 5f acting downward direction okay now let's see this condition you can see f2 here f2 is again f f2 it's a direction this side at the center and here again plus q and minus 3q means overall direction acting in this side so f5 f2 plus f5 f2 plus f5 here f plus 3f it means 4f overall 4f acting in this side now you can see at the f3 again this is acting towards the center and here plus to minus means overall acting direction is towards to the minus 2q so minus 2q is f6 you can see that f6 is 2f and uh, f3 is 3f it is 2f it means f3 equal to 5 so here it is again 5f 5f 4f and 5f again okay redraw this diagram again now you are well known about that in regular hexagon each angle is formed how much 60 degree so therefore this is angle 60 this is angle 60 let us first we have to using 5f and 5f this is 5f and this is 5f total angle 120 by using law of parallelogram then uh, what is the formula 5f square 5f square plus 2 5f 5f cos total angle is 120 and how much now uh, you can see that 25f square 25f square cos 120 is minus 1 by 2 2 to cancel and uh, minus again 25f square this will be cancel out and net force of this 5f and 5f it become 5f okay and this 4f is overlap each other 5f it is resultant of this and this one and 4f we have to find out this is force so total force become 5f and 4f become become 9f and so therefore nf compare with nf your n is 9 so correct answer is 9 i hope so you understand this question and it is very important question because it is this question is totally based on superposition of these forces now thank you for staying till the end of this video and yes i remind you again don't forget to subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students and i will get the energy for making new videos thank you take care bye bye